Welcome again, everybody, to Web Gaming Entertainment, and we are back with some more uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown tutorials. And starting here, not necessarily starting, but this particular tutorial is going to focus on the sniper class. Um, as you can see, the um, the uh, class tree is right here on the left, and um, he is a sniper, clearly. And uh, but he's a corporal now. So in what we the ability that we unlocked or the path that we started down, which again you don't have to, you're not locked to the a particular path. So on the next his next promotion, I can actually select whatever uh, um, skill is on this side instead of this side if I so decide to do so. Um, but I did select snapshot. This does remove that sniper restriction uh, as far as um, firing a reaction shot. Um, and if you don't know what those are, take a look at our guide and or our, some, of our, some of our other tutorials, our combat tutorials in particular, to kind of show you exactly uh, what that is. But I'll give you a brief description. When you put a soldier into Overwatch, um, that allows them to react to enemy movement. So if uh, some enemy, on the enemy's turn, if they decide to move within the view or the field of view of that particular soldier, that soldier will fire a shot even though it's the enemy's turn. That's a great benefit for obvious reasons. Um, outside of that though, when you first get a sniper, when they become a squatty and get the sniper um, class designation, they do not have that with, um, well let me say it like this, for every um, turn that you have with any soldier for that matter you get two turns within one turn so you go you move once if you move within a certain uh, uh, span of mo uh, spaces uh, and I'll explain that to you or if you, again you can take a look at some of the other videos to get a uh, more clear explanation but um, you get two movements and on the second move is when you normally want to put your soldier into overwatch you know because first of all the first move is to get him into position then that second move is normally designed to either fire on the enemy or to put him in a defensive position of some sort and one of those defensive positions can be overwatch the other one is hunkered down but we'll talk about that later either way for the sniper when you start off as a squatty when they start off as a squatty they cannot react or ca they cannot uh, perform a reaction shot on their second movement and that's very debilitating in my opinion because um, you know you're, you moved in position but now you really can't do anything because the sniper also can't fire out, out of the second uh, movement when they're only a squatty. When you move to corporal you have an option to select this um, uh, snapshot ability which removes the restriction on firing and overwatch. Okay so this re removes both of those those restrictions and one ability, so that, that's pretty um, awesome. Um, if I add a target, that target in an allies. Okay, th now squad sight though also has a great advantage because really squad sight pretty much gives a sniper his calling, if you will. Because when you have squad sight, as you can see the description here, if you can't read it, I'll read it for you. It says allows firing at targets in any ally's sight radius. So that is pretty self-explanatory. If your soldiers, any of your soldiers can see the enemy, so can your sniper. And if your sniper can see the enemy from a long distance, that actually also boosts up their rifles. Um, uh, your, uh, it's effectiveness, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. So I'm gonna demonstrate this in um, this same video. So uh, stay tuned. We're gonna we're gonna jump around a little bit in this video. So do bear with me, and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, clip. Okay, welcome again, and we are back in the next clip, of course. And what I want to do is um, just show you some basics. Now this is our sniper, and as you can see, Overwatch is available on the second move. Okay. Now there's no enemies in sight, so I can't really prove to you right now that the fire is also active as well as headshot. So we're just going to move very quickly until we meet some aliens. So we can say hello and um, let's put him into Overwatch. I'm going to move quickly because I'm fairly familiar with this game. So, you know, if you want slower tactics and a better explanation, there will be other videos for that coming up. So just uh, either stay tuned and there might already be some up from, from my YouTube page. So just uh, take a look at those. But for now, we're going to move a little quickly so we can get into uh, view of the enemy. Okay, so my sniper, he is um, going to, uh, you know what, let's try it out like this. 
take some chances, so don't mind me. As you can see, there we go. That's my first risky chance, or choice. So, let's move quickly and get these guys dispatched. Oh yeah, and as you can see, she has a running gun abil ability. Um, this is my assault soldier, soldier but um, I'll show that um, tutorial in, in the assault uh, class section of the guide. So for now, we're going to actually bring her, use the ability, and bring her up. And either take a shot, or not. You know what, 22% and 1%, we're definitely not going to take that shot. We're going to go into Overwatch, and we're going to move this guy up here. You can't really see anything. Overwatch for him too. My sniper, he'll come. You know what? It's okay. We'll run up here. Won't really need to activate anything. We'll let the uh, uh, sectoids here do what they're gonna do. They're gonna mine merge, as often they do. And this other guy's gonna probably try to take a shot at me. Of course he is. And it's actually not cool because she takes one more shot. That can be the end. He can't really see. Now, had I selected that squad site, he would have had a shot way back where he was before. I'm going to demonstrate that in the next uh, section of this video. So do stay tuned for that. And uh, let's see. First, we're going to go ahead and see if we can take a shot on these guys with our trusty sniper. At 38%. Now, as you can see, he's close, and you're wondering why his percentage of uh, to hit is so low with him being a uh, sniper. That is due to the uh, closeness. If Believe it or not, the further away he is, especially if he has that squad sight, the more his accuracy might go up, depending on a few other factors, I believe. But for now, we're going to take a headshot on this guy. And miss, of course. Um... But that's fine because uh, at least you learn something new, hopefully. <laughs> so let's bring this go. I'm going to cut the video here and let's move on to uh, the next section. Okay, in in this next section, I'm going to show you the upgrade for the um, squad site. I'm going to show you it and show it to you in action as well. So let's go ahead and select it, and then we're going to head right over into. The uh, mission. I'm gonna upgrade my other guy. Commander to the time. research labs. Commander to the research labs. Oh yeah. Field medic. And this guy. Ooh. What? No, we'll take that. Okay, so. You yeah, have two snipers now, in case you didn't notice. So, now we're gonna go into the next video and show you how this works. Okay, so here we are in this video, and we're going to find out how well this ability works. Before I really do that, though, I need to get... Ooh, reaction fire. Coming over yes, here. Though. Good, 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 good. So, because he can see this alien, I'm going to guess that my other sniper here can see him, too. I'm going to move this guy first, and just put him into... Yeah, and see, he can. Before that, he couldn't. This alien did not move. It, at the last turn, the alien moved here. My guy back here could not see him. Now, let's activate it. As you can see, he's further away. Very far. But his percentage to hit is 68%. Let's give it a shot. He might miss, of course. But, but the fact of the matter that he's oh, able to wide. see the enemy alone proves that the ability is, uh, in my opinion, very valuable. So let's just keep moving around and get into position. And maybe we get a chance to take a second shot on that enemy. It's also an escort mission, so I'm escorting this guy to an objective. And let's activate. Awesome. Uh, Tunnel for this head down. So, this guy has a reaction shot on him. It's my uh, heavy soldier. Couldn't kill him though. It's alright. No way that just happened. So now he's in a position where my uh, soldier can't really get him. He took a hit. Okay. Alright. That is what it is. See, I could kill him. But let me see. You know, see, he's, still, he's out the field of view now, so... That's fine. Let's take a shot. I don't know how he's going to shoot him through that barrel, but... Or... No apparently he does. Okay, so let's continue to test out the feature and, um... 
see how far we can get with that. But really, that's pretty much the idea. Um, although we didn't get a successful kill, uh, we did prove that the ability is very effective, especially if you have guys, you know, who can see en enemies that are in critical positions, uh, you know, who are posing a, a, a real good threat. So that squad site is uh, has the potential to be very valuable. So everybody, that that's pretty much it for that. I'm gonna finish this mission, but I um, will let you go first. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.